one neurologist said, well, to stop the internal tremors all day, because they would come on around three o'clock during the day and then just last all night. She said, why don't we just put you on a slow release Xanax for the whole day? And I was like, okay, they have me up to three milligrams of Xanax. That was horrible. And I was absolutely out of my mind at that point. I was completely suicidal. I would wake up and want to die. I had thoughts when I would go to the grocery store to get groceries. And I remember standing on the corner um, to cross over to my department. And I had two bags of groceries. And I thought, I should just walk in front of that bus. That'll be the end of this. And the only thought that stopped me was, um, wow, this gets me so emotional. Um, I have a cat and I thought, oh, but I have to go feed Greta. Like that was the only sane thought that I had and it kept me alive. And I remember getting home and being like, oh my gosh, what has happened to me? I can't believe I had that thought of not wanting to be here. But that's what those drugs did to my brain. Um, very quickly thereafter, I connected to a functional medicine doctor who was able to reassure me that he would do what he could to help me to taper down off of this. So I started to slowly taper down off of it. But I guess it's just been a, a year of navigating, tapering off it and still needing to be able to get sleep. So I've had to add different things into it. Eventually, the pericarditis, it came back twice. So it's been a really long road. I mm. still have heart pains if I overexert, but I'm not on any of those um, medications for the pericarditis. And I'm on only 0.5 of the Xanax at this point at night, just um, to not disrupt my sleep. I think it's such a disturbing and upsetting moment for individuals to see that you're really on a precipice you know, and, and I, it doesn't sound silly to me what you say. I've heard all kinds of things protect people from things that, you know, uh, jobs or children, but also pets are often really protective when they have patients struggling with their mental health and, you know, they're really attached to an animal. It, it reassures me as a clinician. So it makes sense to me. And I'm so glad that you didn't step in front of that bus and you're here to, to share your story with us.